Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go. It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. Welcome back to the podcast. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about what happens when you don't put yourself out there. Here's what I mean by this. I get messages all the time from coaches on my email, on Instagram. If, if you aren't following me on Instagram or if you're not on my email newsletter, I highly recommend just go to my website. Go to buildmysportsbiz.com. You can get on my email list. Um, I send a daily email and I also do daily videos on Instagram. But I get a lot of feedback because I'm on there every day and coaches ask me, they're like, well, you know, I don't know if I can email parents or I don't think I can do videos. I, I'm not good at social media. I, I don't like being on camera. I'm not a good writer. So I see all these excuses from coaches for not publishing content. They're not looking to take the steps of of putting themselves out there more. And I totally get it. I used to have the same excuses. And I'm going to tell you what all my excuses were. So this way you can understand all of this is just limiting beliefs. And I can guarantee you I have the same excuses that most coaches do if they listen to this. And my suggestion is after you get done listening to this podcast, um, I'm going to give you a detailed plan to getting started with social media so this way you can start and you can start to get things done and you can start to put yourself out there more which ultimately will gain more traction and you'll get more clients that's why um, why I wanted to create this episode today so I'm gonna go through all of my excuses I had at the beginning okay and these are very personal and I'm willing to open up and tell you this because I know these were real problems I had number one I was too afraid of what people thought of me. Um, that was a fear I had at the beginning. Um, I had the opportunity to do videos. This was in 2014. Um, and I remember at the very beginning, it was very difficult for me. I was, I don't know, I, I didn't think I was like an expert or something. Um, and I was afraid of like certain people seeing my video, getting certain feedback from people in my life and I realized I was like you know what like if I'm so worried about other people judging me then I'm being really selfish because the content that I put out it's not for me it's for others it's to help others and that's the the big mindset shift that you have to take is whatever you do online it has nothing to do with you it has everything to do with your customers and when you have that breakthrough, you're going to be willing to put out as much content as humanly possible. That's why for me, like I have a daily newsletter for coaches. I am passionate about that. I am going to get that done no matter what. And that's because I'm fired up to send those emails. I'm fired up to do these podcasts. I'm fired up to do all the YouTube videos. I'm fired up to go on Instagram every day. When you're passionate about something, you're going to get it done because you know if you put something out there, it's going to help at least, at least one person every day. And for coaches who are not willing to, to go on social media, that's just telling me, you know, they have limited beliefs. They, they think it might not work. They think, you know, others are going to judge them. Um, and I'm going to go even deeper on that. You know, when I was younger, um, I was very shy. I had two older brothers. I always, I don't know, I always felt like, you know, if I said something when I was little, if it was wrong, um, you know, at school, especially at school, um, that I would either get made fun of, sometimes I would stutter, I had a huge overbite when I was little, I was very self-conscious about the way I looked, I could go on and on and on about the so-called problems I had in my head, and again, these were things, even as an adult, it's funny to say it out loud now, but these held me back at the beginning. And I was still thinking about this stuff when I was, you know, when I was younger, I, I 
It was terrible at talking. I was a bad communicator. I was shy. I was introverted. It's all these excuses that I built up in my head as a kid, and it stemmed over into this process of trying to put out content at the beginning, and that's what held me back. And I'll give you a, a good resource to go look at, but if you go to YouTube and you type in online soccer skills, so go go look that up later, you'll see, and you can go the first like two videos that that I did, this is like a long time ago, but you can go watch those videos and see how bad and terrible those videos were. And honestly, back then, a two or three minute video would take me about two hours to do. Um, that's how bad I was at the beginning. But here's what I realized. I realized, you know what? I could have all these excuses and I could basically just cripple myself by, by telling myself every day, you know what? Like, um, don't put yourself out there. People are going to make fun of you. People are going to say this, that, or the other. And, and then I, once I realized, you know what, like what I have to share, if it just helps one person every day, I win. Uh, because that person's going to get value from me. And that's still my mindset to this day. I don't give an F how big this podcast gets. That, that doesn't matter to me. I care if it helps one person every day. And I know it does because I get great feedback from coaches daily that listen to this or they watch a YouTube video. Again, it's not about trying to be popular. It's about actually giving value and helping. And most coaches out there, they don't take that mindset. They just want to be popular without giving value. And that's a short-term game. That that does not last long-term. There's a reason why I've been here for years with this podcast. There's a reason why on our YouTube channel I've been doing things for years. And with my email newsletter, I've been doing things every single day for o over two years now um, with our email newsletter. And that's because when you decide to put yourself out there, and you decide to tell yourself, you know what, I'm going to be consistent with this thing. That's when you win. That's when that's when you build more confidence because everything with, with putting yourself out there comes down to practice. Like for me, again, with writing, I was at best a C student. And that was like with me cheating in high school. <laughs> like, like I was a cheating C student. Um, at best, in writing and in English, my whole life, even in college, like I never wrote a f single freaking paper. I always had like my girlfriend do it or something, and that's because I was lazy and I didn't want to take responsibility back then, and I didn't want to take ownership of improving back then. That was a weakness of mine, and when I started my own business, I realized, you know what, like I'm not good at writing, and so what did I do? Was I gonna like have somebody else do it no I had to learn and this is one of those things like I remember back this was back in 2011 I remember back then like there wasn't a bunch of private soccer trainers out there in the U.S. Um, and I did my research especially in my own city to see what people were doing and there was a guy um, he I think he's like a professional coach now for a team but he had this big academy in my city. And I looked at his website, and I actually went to go watch some of his sessions to, to see what he was doing. This is after I started my business. Um, and back in 2011, I was super shy, not confident. Um, like, my life has evolved <laughs> massively since, since then. But I started to see what this guy was doing. And I went to a site, and I was like, you know what? Like, there, there's really nothing special about what he's doing. He just has kids. Like, he has kids that he's training. He's not giving any special service to them. Um, he's just offering something that no one else is doing. And then I realized, I was like, you know what? Like, he has the number one program in my city. How am I going to be able to do that? And I saw an opportunity, and... I, I went to this conference, and they were talking about sending emails to parents and building an email list, and I realized, I was like, you know what, I know this dude is not doing that, and so right when I got home from that trip, I started writing emails, and I wish I could show you like a copy of the first, I, I would say first 500 emails I sent, but they were absolute garbage, they were dog crap, they were horrible, 
like my sentences, I had run on sentences, like I had so many grammar mistakes, but guess what? I continued to put it out there and parents ended up loving it. They would eat that up and they would share that with other parents. And I remember there was, this happened, I remember this is like, gives me goosebumps. This happened in November of 2012, like a year after I started sending emails. I wrote this, this email about confidence and I sent it out to parents and like literally, like I wrote emails for an entire year. I think I still only had like 50 parents on my email list or something like that. And I got an email back from this lady. She said, hey Ben, I just shared that with the entire club that my daughter plays at. And from that one email, like this is no lie, from that one email, I got a clinic of 20 players that came into train with me from that clinic, I closed eight of those players into my private training program, which back then, that, that resulted in like $3,000 a month. And that's because I put in a year's worth of time. And I learned, you know, the hard way of, you know, just getting better through practice of writing emails. And again, it's that sort of stuff happened all of the time after I started getting a little bit better and I started to invest a little bit more money into learning from from others who are really good at sending emails. And that's why now I send an email every day. It's easy for me because I've done it a million times now. But I see coaches who are hesitating with stuff like that because they have limited beliefs of when they were younger. And I'll tell you, like the only way I'm here on this podcast right now is I've had to massively change my life. I, I If I was the same person that I was in 2011, I wouldn't be here. Like, there's no chance of me being here because I was too shy, too introverted, too worried about what people thought, didn't think I had value, didn't think I would give value. And you know what? That that stuff held me back. And I had to break through that and realize, you know what? I want to help one person every day. And if you have that mindset, you will go do videos. You will start writing newsletters. You will be that dominant force in your city. But it all starts with you. And whatever excuses you have, you have to get rid of that. And it doesn't matter to me if you are older and you don't want to learn social media. It doesn't matter. Like, I've, I've seen, that in this year, I've seen a 17-year-old, a 17-year-old who's in high, like in high school, like, crush it with social media. I've also seen, um, there's a client of mine who's in his 50s, who has, he has grandkids. He is crushing it. And he's getting clients doing that. And he didn't want to do that before we started talking. I, I remember we had a very clear conversation. I said, this is going to be one of the things you're going to have to do. If you're going to get my help, like, you have to do this. And are you going to be willing to do this, yes or no? He said, yes. I said, all right, I'm going to hold you accountable. This is what we're going to do. You got to do these videos every every single week. And he did that for a year. And they, he has hundreds of people every single day now watching and consuming what he's doing. And that's at a local level. Right, I'm not talking about just posting ransom, uh, random Instagram stuff, right? So my message here is very clear. Whatever your excuses are, you need to get rid of that and you need to dive into this because when you do not put yourself out there, someone else in your city that's younger, that's more charismatic, that's better looking is going to take your spot. And they're just going to be willing to do it because it's in their blood. It's in their nature to go do stuff like that. This has nothing to do with, you know, being perfect either. You just have to get started. My, all of my podcasts, all of my videos, nothing's perfect. And you can learn from me. Nothing I do is perfect, but I take action. I take imperfect action. I get things done. That's the thing that moves the needle. Hey coach, thanks for listening to our show today. If you enjoyed the content, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave us a five-star review here on iTunes. If you want to attract more committed clients, generate more income, and create more freedom in your life, you'll want to check out our Inner Circle Mastermind. This exclusive group is reserved for coaches who want to build and scale a dominant sports training business. To learn more about the Inner Circle program, simply head over to our website at www.buildmysportsbiz.com.
www.thinkingdigital.com. Thanks again for listening. I'll catch you later.